This leader is provided to permit the projectionist to complete adjustment of focus and sound level before the film begins. your favorite drive-in theater and a sparkling new season. Watch our screen and local newspapers for all the fine shows coming this way. Show after show will feature the latest hits, the biggest stars for fun-filled, pleasure-packed evenings. Relax, come as you are, and spend an enjoyable night out with the entire family. No parking problems, no babysitting problems. And there are always tasty snacks at our modern refreshment stand. Thanks, folks. And once again, welcome back. Good evening, folks, and a hearty welcome to our drive-in theater. We have a wonderful evening's entertainment lined up for you, one that will provide several hours of pleasurable relaxation and diversion for you and your family. Did you fail to dress up for tonight's show? No tie, an old shirt and slacks, a house dress? Well, don't give it a thought. We're glad you came as you are. We just want you to enjoy yourselves. Don't forget to visit our refreshment center during the intermission or any time. you love the tasty array of snacks we have to offer. So will the youngsters. Everything is quality and mm, so good. We hope you'll make this a weekly visit. Bring the family. Bring your friends. There are always wonderful new pictures to see, delightful snacks to nibble, a gay, pleasant evening for all. Oh, a word of caution. Don't drive over 10 miles an hour in the theater area for your safety's sake. And mom or pop, go with the kids when they leave the car. We hope you have a wonderful time. Come back soon.
discover a fountain of flavor. Fanta. Tastes so good, it's fun to be thirsty. Ladies and gentlemen, Nestle's Quick presents Mr. Magic. My book of magic, please. It's Nestle's Quick Free Book of Magic. My first magic trick is the magic spool trick. Fantastic! And there are a lot more tricks. Look for this special Nestle's Quick Package with the free Book of Magic offer. It's fun for everyone. Hey! Salads taste so much better with Best Foods Real Mayonnaise? Because of Best Foods' superb ingredients. Whole eggs freshly broken from the shell, fresh pressed salad oil, choice vinegar and spices, and extra egg yolks. Ordinary starchy dressings just can't compare. The whole egg flavor of Best Foods Real Mayonnaise is so much better for salads. Or easy sauces like this. Blend two parts Best Foods to one part milk and a little lemon juice. Serve hot and creamy to perk up any vegetable. It's so good. No wonder Best Foods is America's largest selling mayonnaise by two to one. Best food is so good, so many ways. Cause Best food is the whole egg mayonnaise. It's good! Here's the way we quench our thirst. Quench our thirst. Quench our thirst. Here's the way we quench our thirst. At the refreshment counter. Now's the time to yum, yum, yum. Yum, 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 yum. Now's the time to yum, yum, yum. At the refreshment counter. Popcorn, drinks, and candy too. Candy too, candy too. Popcorn, drinks, and candy too. At the refreshment counter. At the refreshment counter. At the refreshment counter. Hooray! Hooray! Step right up for funny face! See the clowns, they'll make you giggle! Put their faces in the funniest place! Hop out the eyes, big bow ties! Now spin to make your funny face! Here's an ear and a funny mouth and a funny nose and hey, you win! You're the first to make a funny face! Hurry, hurry for funny face from Whitman!
You know, this was me five years ago, and it's still me. Because I confess I'm a waistline watcher from way back. Well, that's enough for today. Now for a lively lift. Ice cold Coca-Cola. There's no waistline worry with Coke, you know. Actually, this individual size bottle has no more calories than half a grapefruit. Mmm, another thing, the cold, crisp taste of Coke is so satisfying, it keeps me from eating something else that might really add those pounds. Coke's a natural, wholesome blending of pure food flavors. I guess that's why everyone likes the refreshing new feeling you get, only from not-too-sweet Coca-Cola. And no wonder, lively, lifty Coca-Cola provides a welcome bit of quick energy between meals. Thanks for a pleasant pause in a busy day. Oh, and remember, Coke is low in calories, too. Say, now, don't you get any thinner. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're happy to announce that we've installed burns matic in-car heaters for your comfort and pleasure. When you receive your heater, you'll find it very easy to place in your car. Just roll down your front window and rest the heater's bracket on the window with the cylinder on the outside of the car. Roll up your window securely as far as it will go to hold the heater firmly in position. For maximum results, tilt the face of the heater towards the windshield and sit back and enjoy the show in healthful comfort. With these modern, safe, efficient in-car heaters, this drive-in theater will now remain open all year round. If you have any further questions about your burns o in-car heater, please contact one of our theater attendants. And remember, this drive-in theater will now remain open all year round, regardless of the weather. It's the handy way to enjoy smooth, rich, creamy ice cream. Get some. Hot chocolate with a magical flavor you won't be able to resist. At our refreshment stand, now. choosing your values, do you put people ahead of things? Choosing to love people first brings happiness. As Jesus said, put love for God and for others first, then things will find their place.
It's a what? It's a swing wing. It's a wing wing. A brand new transit grand fun thing. It's a what? It's a swing wing. A fun thing. And now it's your favorite store thing. It's a what? It's a swing wing. A fun thing. Get Swing Wing, made by Transigram, where the fun comes from. It's a Swing Wing. It's a what? into my eyes. I'm going to hypnotize you. Yes, you. Right now. No, don't look away. Look into my eyes. Relax. You want to smoke? You want a smoke that will make your mouth taste fresh? There is such a smoke. It's called Spud. New Spud. It's new. New. It's a completely new filter cigarette. Other cigarettes have filters, but this new Spud has something else. It has a light touch of menthol that freshens the smoke. Something wonderful. New Spud by the makers of Marlboro. New Spud has a filter tip. It has a crush-proof box. It has a fresh taste like it was air-conditioned. You're going to try New Spud tomorrow. You're going to try New Spud. You're going to buy a pack tomorrow. When you're hot and thirsty, why suffer? Come on into the blizzard. Come on in and grab a slug of Fresca. Sugar-free Fresca has the clean, snappy taste that shivers your timbers and makes your thirst stop cold. So don't be left out in the warm. Come on in where it's freezing. Come on in with Fresca. Freezing Fresca. How about it, kids? Are you giving us a fair break? We've tried to treat you fair and square, but... Unnecessary noises and disturbances drive away adults. And we need adult trade to stay in business. You can cooperate and help us keep this theater quiet, or we'll be forced without further notice to evict all disturbance makers and to refuse them future admission to this theater. Now, don't make us do it. Let's give each other a fair break. Thanks, the management. Symbols. We're all familiar with them. There are shortcuts to vital information. That's why, to familiarize you with the movie rating symbols which will be used by this theater, we present the following guide for parents and young people. It is designed to inform parents about the suitability of movie content for viewing by their children. G. All ages admitted, general audiences. GP. All ages admitted, parental guidance suggested. R. Restricted. Under 17 requires accompanying parent or adult guardian. X. No one under 17 admitted. that if you were injected with this, you'd revert to a primitive anthropoid, physically as well as mentally. Only 
one scientist dared investigate the incredible phenomena. Our pet dog reverted to an antediluvian wolf. Look at those teeth. That dog is a throwback. Our simple dragonfly had become a winged monster of a species extinct for millions of years. Now, before your very eyes, see a man revert to a half-human anthropoid from the dawn of creation. A monster leaving behind a trail of death and destruction. Oh, it's impossible. Nobody's got a footprint like that. I'll rest when I find the killer. That's not your responsibility. That belongs to the police. Madam, I know what I'm doing. Even he did not suspect the incredible truth. Neither did the police, nor the girl coming to keep a lover's rendezvous. <laughs> In 1947, the bird expedition to the South Pole reported a warm water oasis deep inside the icy Antarctic. This is the story of another expedition and of what might be found, what might happen today in that remote, unexplored last frontier on Earth. Unchanged since prehistoric times, the land unknown. Could man have survived in the dinosaur age of mighty monsters? Shudder at history's most ferocious killer, Tyrannosaurus Rex. The battle of the great Stegosauri. Huge carnivorous man-eating plants. The incredible water monster, Elasmosaurus. Never get out of here, Alan. Never, never, never. Stop never. it, do you hear me? Stop it. This doesn't sound like you. We're not lit yet. That's how I rule. Ah! Where's the wreck? Talk. You're gonna rot here. and the lady, a story of forceful, dramatic power, of stirring emotional impact, of unusual, colorful beauty, starring Robert Stack, an international sportsman, fascinated by the world's most dangerous challenge, Joy Page, a tantalizingly different personality, who raised her man to new heights of love, Gilbert Rowland, the champion of all matadors, the most understanding of men. Sometimes I think Sunday afternoons are are much more agonizing to the women who pray at home than for the men who fight in the ring. Here are men who train their every faculty, dedicating their lives to mastering the most ferocious of adversaries. Men strong in body and even stronger in their code of honor. You must leave Mexico. They'll kill you. I love you. 
If you die, I'll die too. Here is screen greatness. Here is spectacle. Here is courage in the face of furious fighting danger. Here is romance. Heart tearing and unforgettable. You'll say it's your finest, your most thrilling screen experience. Bullfighter and the Lady. looking around. He's trying to kill me. Hey, hey, let's not go off the deep end again. You've had a bad shot. Now, who's trying to kill you? Alan. Alan? It wasn't just Chris and me. You had to kill Aunt Sophie first. You sent me the cable that she was dead, and, and then you killed her. You think it's easy to kill somebody? It takes time and patience and courage and a strong stomach. Oh, stop it, stop it. I don't want to hear anymore. You're a man. You took him away from me. You tried to take Chris away from me, too, but you won't have either of them, whatever happens. Oh, Morgan, please get out. This is still my room. Now get out. Vesuvius. From the ravaged city of Pompeii, across 2,000 years, comes one of the strangest mysteries of all time. The curse of the faceless man. the centuries, cross the dividing line between yesterday and today, between the past and the present, even between life and death.
might have been the origin of the solar system. Yes, gentlemen. We're witnessing the secret of creation. Mr. Mayor, the city must go dark to supply the power we need. And after 11 hours? What then? Then we'll need the entire power of Boulder Dam to feed it. We must make preparation to evacuate the city. Looking like creatures from another planet, these two scientists risked their lives to move the new titanic element to the one place where they might fight it. I'm going to set the machine and leave in time. So the men. But she isn't built to take such a load. She'll break up. Dr. Benton, our only hope is that she'll break that element before she breaks herself. This one man stood between the Earth and doom. Only he dared face the terror of the monstrous thing that had suddenly come alive. A cosmic Frankenstein that threatened to engulf the world and hurl it into outer space. I'm now going to set the Deltron at its maximum output and close the floodgates. I want you all to leave. You've got about seven minutes to reach the surface. The magnetic monster battle its deadliest enemy, the giant Deltatron. See the last desperate chance they took to check its appalling power. See it shatter the steel walls of its mammoth prison beneath the sea. loaded with it. It screams from within this girl. It smolders in the mind of this loose woman. Cop killing hate. It breeds in furtive dives such as these. It leaps snarling from the hoodlum pack. Each a terrifying part of the raging, ravening cop haters. That's it. You don't need any instructions. Go to work on the files and go to work on the streets. But bring me that cop killer. I ain't gonna hurt you. Yet. Some crazy bird with a... Pink in his brain is oiling up his 45 for jungle hunting. His crazy brain wants cops. Cops. First, I'm gonna kill you. And then I'm gonna kill him. And then I'm home free. <laughs> Him. 
Never before has man been transformed into such hideous proportions. Never have teenage girls been subjected to the terrifying ordeal in the fantastic womb of torture. Prisoners on this island of the mad must fight desperately to preserve a sane and conscious mind. This strange and powerful story has been acclaimed as the most terrifying of all time as it bursts forth the unequaled horror of an island of monsters created by a human beast. This being, boneless, fleshless, almost invisible, stalking the earth, leaving panic behind. Kathy, what is it? What's wrong? In there, it was horrible. There's our cosmic man. Like a solid mass, and yet he's not solid. Like a creature made of matter, and yet it's more like antimatter. This sphere from outer space, impervious to heat, impossible to move. Was it a satellite sent to spy on Earth? A spaceship? A secret weapon? Science was baffled. The Army ready to accept the challenge. Radio the base. Have every available man stationed around those atomic plants. I am here in the darkness. I demand you state your business here. Your demands mean nothing to me. in your wildest dreams now becomes a visual reality as Jules Verne's most fantastic adventure in space and time becomes an amazing film experience. whose great stories inspired such unusual films as Around the World in 80 Days, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, Journey to the Center of the Earth, surpasses them all with Mysterious Island. Starring Michael Craig, who triggers the screen's most thrilling escape, Gary Merrow as a war correspondent, Joan Greenwood shipwrecked on the Mysterious Island. And in this story of survival, Michael Callan and Beth Rogan. Come on. What's it doing? I don't know. It's sealing us in. Also starring Herbert Lom as the mysterious Captain Nemo and his fabulous submarine, the Nautilus. Aren't we able to do anything to save ourselves? Nothing that can be done. Super Dynamation, newest and greatest screen process, astonishes the eye with such scenes as the fight to the death with a prehistoric devil fish, the discovery and destruction of an underwater city,
Mysterious Island. Photograph on land, under the sea, and in the air. Truly a first in motion pictures. Maybe five or six hundred of them. Five or six hundred what? Well, chicks, of course. Starring Claudette Colbert, never so winsome. And Fred McMurray, never so delightful as the city couple tackling life in the raw in the wild Northwest. Oh, you! And wonderful Marjorie Maine and Percy Kilbride as Ma and Pa Kettle in the salty, down-to-earth roles they created that made them the favorite of 50 million eager fans in The Egg and I. Henry, you hear what I say? Move over and give the lady a place to sit. I ain't Henry, Ma. I'm Albert. That's Henry over there, don't you remember? I wouldn't mind having a few of them too before. Then fixing my bond, they had no time to get to town. Well, uh, go ahead, help yourself. Well, that's real neighborly of you. Bob, we've got to get away from here before it's too late. They don't want us here. The mountains and the rain and the wind, they don't want us here. They're fighting us all the time. Gentlemen, an extraordinary journey into the unknown awaits you. The unimaginably weird, dark universe of ESP, extrasensory perception, crashes into the mysterious depths of black witchcraft in a strange and mysterious motion picture unlike any you've ever seen. Something weird. Gifted with psychic powers even he cannot understand, this man finds himself catapulted into the supernatural, a world in which magic and witchcraft battle for supremacy with powers ordinary men could never understand. Around this beautiful girl whirls a maniac's bedeviled list of questions. From these eyes spurts a savage curse that kills anyone in its way. Where love and violence have the same meaning. Where the flesh can be exquisite or hideous. Where forces far beyond the cosmic smash together in a collision that can shatter the heavens. Only a madman could understand it all. Only a wizard or a witch could bring about its astonishing conclusion. Come join the world of the hipsters, the beatniks, the sickniks. out for frenzied fantasies, debauched dreams, bizarre sensualities. The white poppy, the cactus, the sacred mushroom. Why should they be different? Because they are.
hallucination generation. The experimenters who try anything, stopping only at the outer edge of nowhere. This will smooth out all that fear in you. All that hate. <laughs> the taste of purple. What color is the rainbow of passion? The fragrance of madness. Indescribable. It staggers the imagination. Rockets on my signal. Countdown on my out. Are we trapped up here in space? War between the planets. Ready for anti gravity. I want to see this horror, whatever it is. I want to fight it with my bare hands. Between the planets. And it's not a matter of days, but hours. I want the deflector and all the firepower you've got. God help us. Fantastic. Unbelievable. Unknown planet heading for collision with Earth. War Between the Planets. Great family film fair from Fanfare. Rated G. All ages. This engine's still warm. Say, did you see the skid marks out here? They go at a direct right angle to the direction of travel. No digs in the macadam either. Somebody was hurt. There's blood all over this thing. What is this black menace that kills everything it sees and hears? No human mind could imagine the enormous destructive power of this maddened, killing thing. If you're young people in love, look out. If you're driving a lonely road, you're as good as dead. There's been a lot of livestock missing lately. That doesn't make headlines, but now it's people. Never in the history of the United States, a monster of such size and power and horrifying hatred of man. Maybe more. He's looking for only one thing. 
blood. Human victims for human blood. Experiment in horror to satisfy a desperate need never before known. A need that was not of this earth. space he came to destroy the people of this planet, leaving in his path of doom a trail of terror. He's going to kill me! Stay there, I'm on my way. I can't stay! I... to us and it looks like an accident he gets his hands on five million this is very serious barnaby where's the sergeant's gun i don't know i didn't take it your uncle's trying to kill you right let's kill uncle first Let's kill Uncle before Uncle kills everyone. You've heard of homicide. Now see a little Uncle side. Good heavens. What's the matter? Fuel tank's empty. Now, well, looks like the end of the game for both of us. Here we go. <laughs> step away from his past into a future free from fear? Or must a dead past return, making of every living moment a time tortured, tormented? <laughs> tormented, holding you spellbound for the she-ghost of Haunted Island. of desire overshadowed by nightmares.
Can a dead love's lust destroy a man? Or can a man defy the she-ghost of Haunted Island? It's going to be just as though you never existed. I'm going to marry Meg. But at the wedding rehearsal was one uninvited guest. I'll never let you marry Meg. You belong to me, Tom. You belong to a ghost. Tom Stewart killed me! Tom Stewart killed me! Everyone loves a mystery. Here are two of the best of this or any year combined on one suspense-packed program. Brainstorm, the most fiendish idea ever conceived by the human mind. What goes on inside the head of a crazy man? Are there explosions? Color flashes? Jim, don't! He wants you to attack him. Please, I beg you, let me kill him. You end up in prison for life, or maybe the gas chamber. He's got to die. Jeff Hunter, Anne Francis, Dana Andrews, Vivica Linfors, in Brainstorm. A new dimension in psycho suspense. And this is Ellen Garth, the woman who wouldn't die. Can you unmask her terrifying secret? going on. What happened? I don't know. There's something about this house that's evil. It's the double suspense, double mystery event of the year. Brainstorm and the woman who wouldn't die. I shall return to your world within 300 years. When that comet completes its cycle and is once again in these latitudes. 300 years later, the Count returns to Earth in... The Brainiac! See horrible and insane killings as the Count turns into a monster and seeks his revenge. See the Count Feast from human brains. Don't miss the most horror-filled film of the century. The Brainiac. What were you doing, Torgo? Hello, officers. How are you doing today? I'm Sheriff Jennings, and this is Deputy Georgia. I'm Clara, by the way. I am Torgo. Me, Jay. She, Mickey. She, uh, what? Manos knows all. Manos is all. <laughs> <laughs> this is starting to feel oddly like a dear friend house letter. Have you had a visitor, Mother? You shall have a new master. Praise be to Manos. Praise be to Manos. Praise be to Manos.
for these Pacific vanishings. They seem to happen at random. Communication stopped. The crew's too busy to handle it to, to report. Handle what? Something that can catch up with the plane and snatch the people out of it. The Navy versus the Night Monsters. Starring Mamie Van Doren, who triggered earthly emotions in the midst of unearthly events. Anthony Isley, fighting fiendish, crawling things. From Antarctica, frozen for a million years. To a small naval outpost in the Pacific comes a cargo of deviltry, devastation, death. Attacking bodies, destroying minds. <laughs> Chilling terror in a desperate, endless fight against a nameless horror. Those things are multiplying. There's no telling how fast. I wouldn't be surprised. We've got up to be hundreds, maybe even thousands. The whole island would be covered with them. Into a window curtain in Forrester's office. It's a witch's charm. A devil doll. Lon Chaney stars as Morgan Whitlock, inheritor of the secrets of the mystic cult. Vanessa will be angry. Vanessa? Yes. She is coming to us. You will see her tonight yourself. At the Sabbath. On the night of the witch's Sabbath, the coven of 13 gathers for the black mass of death. <gasps> Amy! Oh no! <coughs> Wherever the 
unwary sleep. Beware the terror of the witch's curse. Wherever the infirm struggle for life, beware the doom of the living dead. Unlink these two spirits, one living and one dead. Sharon, take back your ward across the river Styx. Ma'at, use your arms. Um, suggestion? Debbie, it's been so long. I've been worried about you. Let's get to work then. This staff and I have been together a long time. We're bonded. Long history. It's gonna sound weird, but maybe like some uh, red hands of fire? Damn. So that's the staff. The staff of Mano! My own guardian angel, I guess. Not the first time I've been called that. That's not my first rodeo with this type of work. Okay. Oh. You're a very interesting character. Are you helping or not? It's gonna get weird now, isn't it? I mean, it sounds pretty good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was not planned. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Is that Eric Andre? <laughs> Looks like my Uncle Randy. <laughs> oh my god, that guy in the violin was like, what the? I don't know if you've heard the song that Frank Zappa did about bad movies, but 
he focused on this one. It was pretty funny. What's it called? Cheapness. Cheapness is the song name. He talks about the uh, the string and the 2 by 4 when the prop guys are pushing her out of the cave. So now I have to go watch this movie again to see those. <laughs> Everybody, Ruth Larson here. If it isn't Ruth Larson. Ruth Larson. Ruth Larson. Who doesn't love croutons? You sure do. I mean, I'm not a wizard. Timmy received a B minus in AP Psych. <laughs> when life gives you lemons, God opens a window. I have a sun chip emergency at the Aldi. Excuse me. Going back to the bike break, so and it's bacon bit day. And there's my line of fashion forward aprons. They gave you bacon bits? They gave you bacon bits? She's Oblivia de Havilland. <laughs> Let me to apply some sunscreen? I'm good at that shit. Hey, nice ass, Trinot. I swear I'll shoot you. Oh, it's the Tomb of ZZ Top. It's Gruber. Robot got back. I like big bots and I cannot lie. <laughs> I make my own because I'm DIY. <laughs> Sorry, Al. Oh, yes. This music is Torgo's Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Now open Blockbusters Video, the best rodent free video store on the to get all your episodes of The Mads Are Back, The Mary Jo Peel Show, and Jackie Damon Jones Online Art Classes. The best part? You no longer have to shop at Dumb Video. That's right. Avoid Dumb Video's rodent infestation by heading just down the block to Dumb Busters Video, a 100% rodent-free video store. Dumb Busters Video. There's no difference. Advertised and paid for by Steve Richards. And now, it's showtime.
goodness. Can you guys hear me? Yes, you absolutely can. Hello, everyone. Welcome, Maddies, Madites, Madlings, Mad Hatters, Mad to the Bones. Some of my favorites here. Blazing Maddles, Breaking Mads, the Mad News Bears. I came up with this one last Mad Show, and I still love it. The Seventh Voyage of Sin Mads. Welcome, the Madden to this very special watch along party literally hours in the making my name is chris gersbeck i am a producer and host of the mads are back coming to you live tonight from dumb industries i'm sorry from the valley lodge this is torgo's bedroom i am uh he's taking a nap back there no uh coming to you live from forest hills queens everyone it's may 26 2023 memorial day weekend we had a show scheduled for tonight at 10 p.m eastern with jonah ray that we unfortunately had to cancel last minute yesterday uh everyone's fine it's all good we're gonna reschedule too uh but for tonight we just wanted to do something to hold our beloved maddie's over um until jonah and i can announce a new date which is gonna happen soon so thank you for being here tonight and uh, i'm gonna bring my co-host matt riser out in just a minute but just some housekeeping up top join us please on the facebook mads are back group run by our good friend not the director the good the other i always say the good one i you know i got nothing against the director kevin smith he's he's a he seems like a fine gentleman his movies i don't know uh join that facebook group it is fantastic um we got like seven thousand people in there we're always doing fun stuff in there and um Sa Sue Squatch, no i'm not i'm not jonah i don't know where you heard that um guys we also have a discord server discord.dumb-industries.com that is uh that is where we uh, that's our main hub for everything in Discord, and our, our good friend Emmy Martian runs that. She hosts a weekly watch party every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern. Please join that Discord group. Um, oh, where did I get this Manos t-shirt that I just got today? Uh, coincidentally, this was not planned at all. I ordered this shirt about two weeks ago, and I, I just got it in the mail. And where did I get it? I got it at dumb-industries.com, where you can shop downloads. Merch, tickets, classes. We even have classes at Dumb Industries, including uh, tomorrow afternoon, we have Jackie Naaman Jones, who you may know from a movie called Manos, The Hands of Fate. She's going to be teaching uh, a new, an all new Hands of Pain class, which is our uh, MST3K B movie themed online art class that Jackie teaches every fourth Saturday of the month. And then we also have classes every second Saturday of the month. Uh, tomorrow afternoon, 3 p.m. Or actually, this is what... <laughs> Maybe I should just keep this on my screen the rest of the time. This is what we're going to be painting. It's the monster from uh, the horror of Party Beach. And uh, we're going to be painting that tomorrow afternoon at 3 p.m. Eastern. I'm pretty sure Jackie is here watching with us tonight. Um, hey, Jackie. Everyone say hi to Jackie. And yes... Big Rig Blues Wednesdays with Emmy are the best. Uh, thank you guys for being here tonight. And no, I'm not. I'm not Jonah. Mini, I mean that. I am like a foot shorter than Jonah, but I don't want to be called. Come on, come on. I'm a whole other person. If anything, he's like a giant Chris Gersbeck. Um, oh, Samantha Drennan's wearing her "You've Been Kind of" T-shirt. Yes, this is by popular demand. Oh, not that. We have we have this design on a t-shirt because you guys really wanted it. Look at Frank's handsome face right there. You've been conniffed. You can get that t-shirt also at dumb-industries.com. But I want to do this real quick, and then we'll bring Matt out. Um, if you are watching this live, we like to do this a lot. We do giveaways during our live streams, and tonight is no different. So if you're watching this live right now, uh, in the chat on YouTube, enter hashtag hands of paint and you'll be in the drawing to win access to tomorrow afternoon's class where Jackie's going to be showing us how to paint the hot dog monster, as we've been referring to him as in our Facebook group. Um, did I mention you've been Conniff t-shirts available at dumb-industries.com? Um, 
one more thing. I'm sorry, guys. I'm <laughs> totally rambling. Uh, but yes, enter hashtag the ha hands of paint. And uh, I'm going to pick a winner in just a minute when we get Matt out here. So I'm going to take that off screen for now. And also, during the show, right here in the chat, we'll be telling you how you can win downloads to the Mads are back season two, the entire collection, which through tonight at midnight Eastern is 30% off with promo code push the button head to dumb dash industries.com. Okay. Did I get everything? Yes. Okay. He's backstage. He's waiting patiently. Uh, let's bring my co host out here. Um, I sound so excited about that. Uh, let's bring our co-host out here. Here's my co-host on the Dumb Industries Mystery Hour, which we host together every Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, he's the associate producer at Dumb Industries, right-hand man, makes all those uh, pre-shows that make us question his uh, mental stability. Let's welcome Matt Reiser. Hey, Matt. Hello. Hello. <laughs> hey, hello, Matt everyone. The hey, glands, Chris. The glands of hate. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you okay. Can you hear me okay? I can, yeah. Excellent. My, my microphone's not too close or too far away. I'm always worried maybe that I'm like Maybe put Michael it a little, maybe put a little close. There you go. A little close. I'm always afraid that I'm like Michael McDonalding the microphone. You are, but you know. He that's... came from somewhere <laughs> back in a No, I won't. That's part I'll of the very hard not to sing on this broadcast. I would get that mic a little bit closer. Get otherwise... that mic just a, just, a, just a little bit closer. Yeah, just it should be like in closer. front of your mouth, but not just in front. a little bit close. That's good. There we go. All right. All it. right. There we go. Matt. Uh, hi, everybody. You've been conniffed. You know, you just breathed Ow. on the mic as soon as I put that on and it sounded like an explosion. Like we should get that as a group. Yeah. <laughs> like one, two, three. Yeah. See, it's really dramatic. It's pretty I epic. Um, I love it. Um, Matt. Uh, Christopher. We are about to watch. Manos the Hands of Hate. Yes, a the, movie that, in spite of me having seen it several times at this point, I don't think I've ever sat through it without like zoning out at least <laughs> once during it. So I don't know if I can claim to have seen the whole thing because uh, well, yes. this is a movie unriffed that's like begging you to check your phone during the middle of it, and <laughs> and then you look up and you're like, oh, there's like ladies fighting now. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a trip. Um, oh, Jackie is here. Um, <laughs> until Hi, now I'm like Torgo peering in the window. <laughs> uh, Jackie, we love you. Thank you for being here tonight. Um, Matt, we, we, so we were going to do this live stream with, with Jonah Ray uh, yeah. tonight and we had to cancel very last minute and you and I were talking about it. We we're like, what should we, should we do something in its place? Should we do something else entirely? And we landed on, um, a live watch along of the Mads are back. Manos the Hands of Fate, which we recorded yeah. um, in December of 2021, which, my goodness. Wow, um, really? Yeah, this was recorded wow. live December 21st, 2021. We were wow. so young. Um, That's so crazy to think. I've been working on this show for that long. I, I um, but, uh, but, but yeah, yeah we were, I, what we were talking about, I was like, I, I watch all of these shows pretty much. I mean, while the shows are going on in live in real time, I'm just sitting here by myself in Torgo's bedroom, just <laughs> watching these shows and giggling to myself. And I was like, wouldn't it be kind of fun to like actually be able to watch this with someone and talk to them throughout it. And yeah. so we landed on this. We were like, let's watch Manos the Hands of Fate. Yeah. We, we very rarely get to just enjoy our own programming. Yes. We're always like working during it or, you know, I like mean, answering emails kinda, and yeah. doing Q and a kind of stuff, you know? So this is, yeah, this is the closest we can get to enjoying this and we'll kind of be, Maybe kind of quipping along with it a little bit here and there, you know, maybe providing yeah. if there's any interesting commentary we can think of, like anything that we yes. remember from like when this happened the first we're, time. We're not going to attempt to riff on Trace and Frank's riffs, uh, so don't worry about that. We're just here to enjoy it. I love the Mads are back so much. Uh, getting to produce it's just like an absolute dream, but I love uh, the shared experience of watching these shows with people. And yeah, I, I really so haven't gotten is... to experience that. So this will be fun. I, I mean, you might hear some, some quips, uh, just because we're, we're assholes and we can't help, uh, <laughs> but do, but not yeah, We didn't like, write. This isn't like a written thing. You know, this isn't right. us trying to like that. That would be weird. To, like riff on a, a riffing thing. That's yeah, like, a, like, whoa, like, what was like infinity mirrors? Whoa. What was trace on when he wrote that riff? <laughs> 
It'd be horrible. Oh, do, do you like terrible John Madden play by play? I don't know what Frank was thinking with that Chris Christie riff. Just very, very weak. And then I bring out like the the big board that lets you like draw on like video while it's like going in <laughs> yes. slow motion. Like in this scene here, he had a great joke, but then he talked over Trace in this scene over here. And then... yeah. it's just uh yeah. I don't um, watch football. I don't know if you can tell. I don't um, either. So that sounded that you sounded I that that was like you could have been John Madden. I would have had no idea. I don't even who's that, John Madden. I don't even know. I used to play John Madden on uh, Sega Genesis. That's how I know. Okay, Matt. We're we have a great start here. <laughs> we are. This is guys. If you haven't watched our show, the show that Matt and I host together, the Dumb Industries Mystery Hour. It's uh, it's the absolute best uh we watch garbage garbage stuff that you find in a vhs like literal vhs tapes you find in the garbage we watch them literal vhs i go through all the trash in park slope like a little uh little raccoon possum yeah. man just just getting down in there just and then we watch you know, we watch all and, sorts and of I weird take stuff and i yeah and I make sure in. it's uh it's gonna play in our vcr sometimes it doesn't sometimes we have to buy a new vcr but it's all worth it because uh we have the time of our lives on that. Sometimes show. you find, sometimes you find just like an entire family of hornets living inside a VHS <laughs> tape, and you have to deal with that for the day. Um, Am I in Torga's bedroom, MWJR nine hundred nine? Yes, and your dog is damn adorable. Can I steal your dog? Can you bring your dog over here? Uh, uh, oh, this Madden. is a fun fact about Torgo's yeah. bedroom. You use that background, I I think, on something back when I was in my last apartment. I remember when you first put that up. You were like, "Oh, it's Torgo's bedroom." I'm like, "That just looks like my actual apartment." Yeah. <laughs> the apartment I was living at at the time literally looked like the the house from from hey, Manos. The hands I'm of excited page. about is that this is the 4K uh, restoration. Thank you. Oh Vince, yeah, Ben Solovey who... cleaned up who gave us uh, his restored print to use for this match. So that's what we're going to be watching. Um, yeah, nice and crisp. And you can see like all the, the dirt and grime on everything. I mean, that's why it's... you can see Torgo sleeping on a pile of dirt here. Not visible in the original print. At yeah. All. Um, the original print looked like the like the fucking Zabruder film or something. It's <laughs> it's it's uh it has the production sketchy. quality of like that uh that video of Bigfoot, you know, that everybody shows the one where he's, you know, <laughs> yeah. lumbering um, into the woods. Uh just a couple things. All right, let's pick a winner because we have um yeah. uh Jackie's class and Jackie's watching live with us right now. And uh we the have three hundred and forty people watching with us. Yes. Thank you so much, everybody, for hanging out with us tonight. Thank and you. Putting up with our jackassery. We are going to get um, to the movie. I wanted to do this at 8 p.m. too, because I didn't want people to tune in at 10 p.m. and think, oh, this is this is your consolation. I just wanted to get it out of the way. And uh, you know, that that Jonah Ray live stream is gonna happen soon. That's a great attitude to have toward this broadcast. I just wanted to get this out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it. No, like I know what you meant. I'm... Um okay, so uh yes, hands of paint tomorrow, 3 p.m. Eastern. Let me Pick a winner. Um, Pick a wiener. Yeah, and every month be we lots paint... of new faces in the chat tonight. Lots of people lots. I don't usually see uh, commenting and stuff. Uh, we I, I love having the fresh blood here. K Hemera. <laughs> oh my God! Congratulations. I, I hope I'm saying that like congrats. Um, you just won access to tomorrow's Jackie <laughs> Naaman Jones, the Hands of Paint class, and I can't wait to see K your interpretation of this that's the best part about this class is that everyone's got a wildly different interpretation yeah on and the you can use matters. any medium too for this just to plug this class a little bit while we have new people it's uh yeah uh, uh you know like uh jackie it's when you have access to this class you also get access to the blog which has all the yes. uh, all the you know stuff you might need to do whatever painting you know all the paints or what what have you what jackie uses but you can use any medium like you can Anything. use an ipad chris I that looks great iPad. there's lots of good free paint programs and little styluses you can get for real cheap so uh yeah and uh, between that and just seeing everybody's kind of personal flair it's crazy how you can think you're literally doing the exact same thing that you know jackie's doing on the screen and it comes out completely different yeah 
And it's also great if you're kind of self-conscious about your painting, uh, like I, I kind of am, like if you don't want to be in public around people, like you're kind of isolated enough, but you still have that interaction because you can chat with Jackie, you can ask her questions about her, you know, yeah. her family and, you know, their life as artists or how, you know, the making of Manos, you know, while you're working, you can kind of get feedback on, you know, anything you might have. And at the end of class, you can share your painting if you want to. Uh, if you want to or you don't you don't have to but but a lot of people do and it's a it's a big fun time and we have an entire artist gallery on our website it's... if you go to dumb-industries.com forward yes. slash jackie i believe it is uh, the best it's it uh, is... it's 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 neat it's great and then you get a free painting of something cool that's yeah, like a, like a b-movie someone. thing um and uh and you have access to all the the back classes we painted a lot of fun stuff uh, like we've done the master painting that's hanging up in this yeah that's the very have... first Liam's oh. asking, can you use watercolors? Absolutely. We've had watercolors, oh, yeah. that would acrylic, be oil, pastels, crayons. Mary Jo Peel painted with crayons. She painted Torgo, actually. <laughs> um, Incredible. All right. Uh, all right. And also, just real quick, we have uh, the Mads are back. Is, uh, the next live stream is going to be on Tuesday, uh, June 13th. I cannot believe coming that's fast and hard. We're going to be announcing the movie very soon. Uh, Carmen, Sarah, who does all of our Poster artworks already working on that. And this poster is for sale in a dumb industry store if you want to get a print of that as well. Incredible. Um, okay, I think it's time, Matt. I think it's time for us to to dive in. I think we're kind of putting this off because we know like Manos is, you know, like it, <laughs> well, it's one of the more notable B movies, but it kind of starts dragging toward the middle. And it's <laughs> well, that's uh, why we're lucky. We've got uh Trace and Frank here got, to hold us over. Uh, it's a uh, even them they're, they're using all their powers they're doing all they can but it's uh it's I've, like my brain actively does not want to focus on this movie at one point so if i, I start get getting it, off yeah. topic just uh yell at me yeah um it's my brain trying to protect itself okay matt enough Let's i got <laughs> I forgot to say k k himmer shoot me an email chris at dumb dash and i'll tell you how to uh access tomorrow's class all right you ready to do this Let's let's do this. I feel like I'm like walking to an execution. <laughs> Manos, the hands of fate. Did you hear that okay? Yeah, sounds good. Do, am I mixed okay where you can hear me good? I think so. Yeah, folks, okay. let us know in the chat. So. Oh, we missed the opening. Let's go. Do that or... Well, I sat through uh, the Sex in the City reboot. I think I can handle this. Oh, deposit waste there. That's where the film goes. That missed opportunity. Is I this love... Fritz Lang's Metropolis? No, it's Fritz Lang's El Paso. Hey, I can see the Alamo Draft House. This is really interesting, too. I don't know if anybody session. watched the original MST. It's nice when you beat this, traffic it's as you to travel like to the shitty movie. Watch the exact same movie like 30 years apart and how yeah. their perception of it's changed. So once you get done watching this tonight, go find that. It's on YouTube somewhere, probably. Hi, Jackie. We're almost there, honey. Just a little while longer and your vacation starts. I always thought the, ja the dad kind of looks like Jack Kirby. I'm cold gray. Mommy, my, my coat is alive. Dog is such a ham. We should be pretty close right now. The agent said it was about 12 miles from Highway 10, and that was Highway 10 back there. But you know, we should have asked for better directions at the last gas station. Listen, I've never got gotten like this long hair. It's the whole reason you married me. Just follow the script. Sorry, I'm cold. Okay, Debbie, I'll put the top up. Never mind. That's a great Debbie car, though. All these us. shitty old movies have such great cars in them. Do you ever notice yeah, that? Child really seatbelts. Who needs them? What's the point? Sure. What the hell? Sit anywhere, Debbie. Why even have a back seat? Why don't we sing a song to help pass the time? Whipping post. Free bird! Row, row, row. Oh, James Corden Jenny totally stole this bit. <laughs> oh, man, I fucking love this song. If you're going downstream, you don't need to row. Throw, throw, throw your life down the freaking drain. Merrily, 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 merrily. Ah, the Hitlers are on vacation. <laughs> Right, if just the Herbie crossover with Manos happened right then. Yeah. Look out for the title. 
great font. Has anyone done the Manos font, like where you can download it on a computer? I'm sure someone has. Let us know in the chat. Defund the filmmakers. He's in a no El Pasoing zone. <laughs> I would make a Dukes of Hazard joke, but Dukes of Hazard is much better than this. He's jacked up right by two different people. Gotta I think make it was sure just one more. He's got a gun. All right, mister. I see you have a taillight problem. No excuse. This is Running one of those late, movies that's perplexing because, like, tired. you know, like with these movies, there's always, like, what Can't the filmmaker probably on, had in their in head Texas? and vision for the movie and then what came out. <laughs> well, but I can't right, even picture right. what, like, he had sure in his head when he made this. Kind of like, what movie were you even okay, trying to but make? If you're running late, you should have this thing started is so early. wild. Anyhow, Screw you, pig! No taillight. Have it fixed. Thank you, officer. Dick. What was that? Uh, uh, nothing. I wish this movie was about him fixing the tail light because I already know that that's not the case. Welcome to my bleak America. The screenplay for this film was Farm to Table. You have to say the music in this is so. Oh, it's the best part. Right? On your left, you'll see many of the sites that have led to massive cases of clinical depression in Texas. <laughs> Jackie says, what kind of field you Diane see is only movie? 20 years old, 14 years older than me. <laughs> <laughs> that is a fun fact. Uh oh, someone off camera decided to do karaoke. <laughs> Trace is so good at just sound effects. The video oh, yeah. sounds so ridiculous. <laughs> Oh my god, it's Kale! Anytime the boat always Ew. shows up in any of our stuff, it's always great. Legendary. Someone should remix Trace's boat noise into like a, like a techno He's song. He's actually the first like, mass <laughs> singer. <laughs> Even though she was recording this off camera, she still insisted on wearing a mask so she couldn't Aha. be identified as part of the film. This singer reminds me, R.I.P. Tina Turner. Mm. This sounds like a dollar store, like Tina Turner song. Kind of. I don't know. Ah, the life of a farmer. <laughs> and now, Manos, the tongue of fate. I don't remember this film being a jukebox musical. It's carpal tunnel from drinking. Oh, I had to hear this guy talk about this at an AA meeting years later. It was just as tedious. A classy date would bring two bottles. I almost lost my place. That looks like the most uncomfortable car to make Unfortunately, her in. right to get an abortion in Texas in 2021 is no better than it was in 1966. Like, you want to just go over in the field? Yeah. Oh, oh, so this is the movie where those iconic songs come from. Man, like there's nothing up that road. Oh, back to the tonsils. Yeah. Hey, less foreshadowing, more foreplay. Remember, Manos at 10 and 2. <laughs> we now join Manos, the hands of fate, not nearly in progress. <laughs> this shot was featured in famous foreheads of Filmland. <laughs> This is like a video game designed by Samuel Beckett. <laughs> <laughs> he has so, so many Samuel Beckett references. Now look, the sign pointed this way. Mark, let's go back to the crossroads and ask. I can't think of anybody with a greater okay, breadth okay, of like pop culture knowledge than Frank. Look, I know. The sign this way. Like he he knows about all the old signs, stuff and he sees more no new stuff than, than I do. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. He keeps up. To recap. The sign pointed this way. For those of you just joining us, the sign pointed <laughs> this way. <laughs> yep, this way, all right. This is the part that really feels like the he drove all the way to Tatooine. Version. <laughs> Admittedly, the narrative is weak, but what a sumptuous visual feast this film is. enough flute in music anymore. Right. And now, I guess back Lizzo. to the longest first base in I recorded guess wrong, history. Uh, he's getting points in the back end. Makeout squad, in color. How many times do we have to chase you kids? Oh, she. Holy cow, man. You'd think we're doing something wrong. In Texas, nothing is right. 
Except the right. Well, whatever it is you're not doing, go don't and do you're it banging somewhere ain't a crime. Um, that's not a cowboy hat, by the way. Lego sea lighting. Ugh. You guys leave us alone. Aren't we hetero enough for Texas? Come on now, no wisecracks. Just go on home. Trace can say anything okay. in that bell of voice, too. Yeah. Right already. Damn. Where are we going to find another place to park in Texas? Is this the family again? I'm losing the thread of the narrative. I love that you can see all the tire tracks from like the 9,000 takes yeah. they did of this. In the... <laughs> the, the What's print. wrong with this film? Why didn't we like it before? It's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> I like this movie. It just has to be said, like how crisp this print is. It, 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 it does look really sworn. nice. We didn't make a wrong color. Like, Where did the road go? No need to get upset. We'll find it. It's wild we live hearts. in a world where you can clean up yeah, and you stuff can't like back this. out of the film at this point. We go back to the opening credits. They're in the middle of nowhere, and they still can't parallel park. <laughs> El Paso is beautiful. Kids are just doing donuts out here. <laughs> I'm on the dirt road again. Let's just pretend they're there. Have you played the Monos video game? From? No, I want to. There's apparently care. a Monos video game. Directions. It's like 8-bit style, right? There's someone yeah. at the door. If it's Not anything like someone. the The Room video game, Dargo, I'm totally on board. Dargo, Dargo. That's and an all-time movie icon makes his first appearance. Always drive slowly towards Torgo. He's a traffic hazard. By the way, this is the, the on hold music when you call like the Torgo. suicide hotline. Remember that. <laughs> uh, Torgo Master said they got the Blu ray of the restored version with commentary by Jackie and her dad. I Torgo didn't know that redefined that was, um, the hobo oh. look. That was a thing. I'd love to know. Oh, this that. is an earworm. That's a, that's a huge endorsement for the getting the Blu ray. That would be look, great. Mike, they yeah. have a Torgo. <laughs> Speaking of Jackie's book, Borg growing the up only with guy Manos, who can give you post-traumatic stress uh, syndrome is before such a you meet him. Memoir about the making of this free Wi-Fi uh, and movie. Torgo. All right, and you can get that at dumbdashindustries.com. Come on, get him signed by Jackie. Let's experience this nightmare yeah. together as a family. I believe family. Jackie's mentioned this on our live the stream. Your You're is recording out the film. an audiobook for it right now, right? Yes. Yeah. This is so like polka for that music soon. with a crystal meth addiction. Jack Kirby versus Torgo. I am Torgo. I take care of the place while the master is away. Yep, the here's looking at you kid of shitty movies. <laughs> Script pages <laughs> missing or deleted. I'm not sure the master would approve. Here's one of my dog. favorite Frank Riff's coming out. The master doesn't like children. We only want to know where Valley Lodge is. One of the great film Which characters. Which way do we go? There is no place like that around here. <laughs> It's a CVS now. Mike, I'm scared. It's getting dark. Well, Targo, which way is out of here? What is this, Jeopardy? I don't fucking know. <laughs> so dirty. <laughs> there is no way out of here. It will be dark soon. There is no way out of here. Well, that's yeah, I feel like you just rubbed no him. And just <laughs> dirt would come off. Well, you know, we, we could spend the night here, and then oh, tomorrow my, we could... Can... I don't want to spend the night here. I don't like the looks of the place. <laughs> well, it seems we have no alternative. Well, how about it, Torgo? Can we spend the night here? We get out. Well, I don't know what else we can do. But, Mike, I don't want to stay here. And the master wouldn't approve. Well, don't worry about it. We're here now, and I'm sure the master won't throw us out. Well, how about it, Torgo? I don't want to stay. Let's leave. How about it, Torgo? I don't know about it. I just don't know. As you can see, this is the busy season. <laughs> can we at least stay for the Glenn Gould concert? Okay, we'll just stand like here till morning. <laughs> It's like the music that plays in my head when I'm having an anxiety attack. <laughs> Come on, 
Torgo, show them what Texas hospitality is all about. Is he wearing a onesie underneath his, like, it's laser? It's like a jumpsuit or something, right? No, yeah, I think it is. He's wearing, yeah, he's got, like, the Michael Myers oh, onesie on and Maybe then a blazer. I've never noticed that before. I'd, I'd like to try one of my lifelines, please. <laughs> he's got, like, the Ghostbusters suit on. The lifeline riff is on my <laughs> The master will be very disturbed. Yeah, well, he doesn't have to pee like I do. Long road trip. I'll get the, the luggage. <laughs> oh, yes. This music is Torgo's Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. <laughs> what? It just stops. <laughs> no, it just stops there. You must be. You cannot stay. The master. Would not uh, approve. Uh, I never understand. If you think my stick is big, you should see the one he has up his ass. <laughs> it's like everybody doing It's not a good idea. Let me get those bags. I have to say, kind of dickish to make Torgo you carry your luggage. Down? <laughs> In the 1840s. It's amazing that this exists. See the master's hand in everything. Right, we're gonna get some uh, brick oven Torgo's pizza. <laughs> Mike playing Torgo is like one of the best MST See, like, you're oh my God. Off characters. You're it's projecting. Hilarious. Told you my oxy would help. Look at this. That's crazy, Fred. Oh, how horrible! <laughs> Thomas Kincaid. <laughs> Doesn't it like when Frank get fired, like Torgo's one of the people that gets interviewed for his job? Don't yeah. look at him, you'll go Torgo blind. <laughs> oh. Oh, no, Jackie he's gone. I feel Barnes empty. Tell him to come too. back. He's in Manos for Terminals. That's awesome. Oh. Hi, Christopher. Hi, Christopher. Yeah, and someone asked us, they didn't know Mono was We put a, we put a trailer rolling? for Mono's Returns in the pre-show. Action. Yeah. Oh, wait, I'm the director. I say action. I forgot. Sorry. I don't know how long this pre-show is going to be up for this, like, rerun's going to be up for, but uh, if you missed the pre-show, go check that out. be the master himself or Sonny Bono you can learn how to oh make that God, painting in our very first hands of oh, paint class the meanest look that dog I'd hate to run up on him in the dark or even in the light for that matter so basically nowhere on the visual spectrum <laughs> I broke the biffy, and you're out of paper. <laughs> well, thank God Torgo is back. He's like what Bill Murray is to a Wes Anderson movie. The reacting to the smell. So these were the oh good God, usable did like a takes. Wes Anderson remake of Monos. They couldn't get the dog back for no. ADR, huh? Someone's going to do that, AI. That must be your master. What I do think they could make a good, like, Ed Wood-type movie about the making of Monos. I think if you I, did that, you could pull that off. No matter where yeah. we go, he is with us. Hmm. Like, like Jeff that. Bezos. What? No matter where he goes, what does that mean? That dog. Hi, Michael Frankel. Well, Thank you for watching with us. Well, I hope you go where the master goes. There is nothing to fear, madam. The master likes you. <laughs> nothing will happen to you. He likes you. <laughs> I thought you said he was dead. Yeah, but he's still a nice guy. <laughs> no, not dead the way you know it. He is with us always. But he never leaves an out-of-office reply. the way you know it. He is with us always. Just like Jesus. Mike, I don't like this. Nothing to worry about. It's only your imagination. My imagination? Torgo's the one saying weird shit. <laughs> This is every awkward moment at the holidays this year. <laughs> <laughs> Just so much fun. I think that it's what? best that I show you to the bedroom now. All right. They were just walk in the frame together way. and it flipped and they like walk that way. Again. Oh my God. This movie's my like... That. That's my stomach. I'm sorry. Desert. Nothing to be afraid of. I'm scared, Mike. Jackie speaks for the audience. <laughs> that couch. Michael, I don't care what it's it just is. so filthy. 
Okay, if it'll make you relax, I'll go out and see what it is. It's like when I was in college, and you'd go to like a weird party, they'd be like, you want to have a seat? Shit. I'd be like, standing's good. I'm good with standing. <laughs> hey, you want to keep it down? Some of us have to get up and be killed by a devil-worshipping cult in the morning. Obi-Wan doing his quiet dragon call. Get back bongo, 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 bongo. Oh, the car is barking again. Arch Hall Jr. is about to. No, oh, that's right. This is Texas. Singing. That gun came with the car. <laughs> yeah, in Texas, you can open carry a gun, but you have to drive hundreds of miles to another state to get acting lessons. <laughs> uh, I saw this on Dodo. Don't worry, it has a happy ending. <laughs> get, get back in the house, damn it. He's dead. Peppy's been killed. <gasps> Who's Peppy? The house, honey. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of place is this? My God! This movie makes you feel like you're losing your mind because you're like, wait, was there a Peppy in this? Right, movie? I know. <laughs> Yeah, if they have cable, we didn't edit this one. This is uh, this is unreal. this is the full movie. The dog is the Janet Lee. This is of the this only film. one of our shows that's in full 1080p, I think, as well. Correct? Yeah. Uh, well, was, no, maybe they're filming right? Pet yeah, Cemetery most, nearby. This was, I think, the only movie we've done that we actually got a 1080p print. Honey, to use. we've got so, some yeah. news. Something that will traumatize yeah, you. Yeah, they for don't the rest got one of those for Wake Walk up. the Dark Streets. Honey, how do you feel about hamsters? William Lennon, I, I think you nailed it. I think you nailed it. You did it. Mike. Congrats. Oh, Mike, what could have done it? Uh, who can it be now? <laughs> Honey, it was probably some animal from the desert. This place must be full of them. Oh, that thing is bed bugs. Mommy, in it. I think I have the mark <laughs> of the beast. Peppy? <laughs> Where were you, baby? Went away while you were asleep. Mike, I want to leave this place now. Okay, honey, we'll leave right away. We Where won't get our deposit back. Torgo! <laughs> Torgo! He's such an asshole Targo! to his family. <laughs> hey, if you shout Torgo in a crowded theater, you're probably not watching Manos. <laughs> I, I was having my beauty sleep. Did you want me? We're leaving. Would you mind putting the luggage back in the car? <laughs> As you wish. I've been watching Princess Bride. Right now. <laughs> Damn it, fast. Hey, fast isn't his brand. I'm torgoing as fast as I can. Oh, first they couldn't get the story started. Now he can't get the car started. First this car wouldn't overcompensate for my small penis, and now this. Do you think the people that make Torgo lawnmowers know about this movie? Now it's click and clack the Torgo brothers. For a second, I thought. <laughs> oh my God! There's I thought an you were engine saying here. That someone makes lawnmowers that look like Torgo. No, there's a lawnmower okay, company engine. called Torgo. Where were you on I the night of January sixth. This hope film so. isn't so creepy unless and you think about it. It can't be based off this. I think it's been around <laughs> longer than the early nineties. Now it's time to heat things up with Torgo after dark. <laughs> You know, given all the predatory behavior we've seen from men in the last 30 years, Torgo seems kind of quaint. <laughs> <laughs> and say this for him, his online dating profile looks the same. Madam, it will be very dangerous to leave now. The master wants you. Wants me? What kind of talk is that? Creepy talk. He wants you for his wife. He loves beautiful women. Who aren't into head trips. like an evening with Andrew Cuomo. Borgo wrote a book, How to Pick at Women. He has remarkably good hand hygiene oh. for a satyr. <laughs> Maybe it is Toro. Maybe Weirdest you're right, Christine. Perv plus oh, commercial ever. Toro. It is Toro. Okay. Perv plus. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, I don't know my lawnmower company <laughs> okay, better. Toro. As long as you don't get inappropriate, we're cool. I thought it was Torgo. Mubby. I think we're hitting it off. Is that? That is his, so nasty too. I don't understand. Like, is it his eyebrow? Like, he's got like oh, eyebrows on his eyebrows. Yeah. But are those like? Does he just have really long eyebrows? Bar? I never figured that out. <laughs> like, he has like normal people eyebrows, and he has like Mr. Spock eyebrows, yeah. like on top of his other eyebrows. Well, isn't he supposed to be like a centaur or something? Maybe. <laughs> this torso is weird. Believe it or not. 
Let's see the that. who's it's connected to the what's it. <laughs> Damn, my pretending to work on the engine didn't help a bit. Fixed it. <laughs> oh, it's broken again. <laughs> And what sucks is I can't move. You can forget about a tip, Torgo. I hope Teresa Frank get back out on the road. Let me out of here. Them doing this live. Let me out of here fun. now. Oh, yeah. Do you hear now? Yeah, you can, like, mono oh, south the theater. Well, give oh, yeah. me, madam. Have all of our mono merch there. Which, speaking of, if you go to our store, we have the master. Look at these colors. Fresh this is a great restoration. And dresses and... <laughs> Forgive you. Just wait till I tell my husband. <laughs> He'll be filled with impotent rage. I meant no harm, madam. I'll protect you. I'll... I'm like a bearded condom. Very well. I won't tell my husband. Now let me out. Of this film. Stop staring at her boobs. Oh, I wish I was her. Don't <laughs> lay on that couch. <laughs> God. I won't start. Margaret? Damn car won't start. Well, that really fixes things. What are we going to do now? No, it I doesn't. Know. I couldn't find a thing wrong with it either. Hey, Torgo, where's the phone? <laughs> Torgo, you know how to fix a car? Yes, Alexander Graham Bell, you know telephones. <laughs> hey, I was going to do that riff. <laughs> there is none, sir. The master doesn't approve of such devices. He moves like he's in, like, stop motion. Then where you is won't the shut up. phone? Right, are you referring the to me? phone is at the crossroads. All right. Satan's doing a set there tonight. Sorry. Ten miles. Might as well be 10,000 miles. Easy, honey. It won't help to get mad. <sighs> the master won't mind you staying tonight. He has no choice. We can't leave. We can't walk out of here. And the damn car won't start. Damn. I'll just bring the bags back to the room. It should kill another 10 minutes of film easily. Where are they going? Oh, over there. Sinister. Sinister isn't descriptive enough. How about very sinister? Soon this place will be forgotten. <laughs> forgotten? I'll never forget. Peppy's gone. Who's Peppy? I just hope Debbie will understand. She'll understand. She's my baby. She'll understand. She'll spend her entire adulthood in therapy, but she'll She's understand. She'll understand. Gee, Steve Jobs wasn't this bad a father. <laughs> Say, where is she? Oh, my God! Michael! Doesn't take much for them to lose a kid, does it? Okay, Debbie, we see you. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Maybe she slipped into one of the rooms. Debbie? 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 Remember us from, like, two seconds ago? <laughs> That's pretty thorough searching. <laughs> you guys are stupid. No. She's gone. Help us find her. He's helping. She couldn't have gone outside. The door's bolted. For God's sake, don't panic. She's it is a lot so long. Maybe we're talking too much. Are, dude. Oh, am I allowed to talk again? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Matt, you're out of... Oh, oh, wait, you're wait, out of the, I know, I know this fun. one. Okay, am I out of my timeout? <laughs> that door's bolted, too. <laughs> Outside, Mike. The audience bolted. The outside. All right, we'll look outside for her. Yes, let us do that. Debbie? Debbie? Are we there now? Debbie? Nope. Debbie? Are we outside now? I have no idea. Oh, Mike, I'm scared. The animals in the desert. Cut it out. The animals are perfectly safe from Debbie. <laughs> 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 It's really fun. No time for acting, honey. It's really fun editing these shows because I get to like we'll perfectly sync Trace's sound effects to he the He keeps to looking the at the camera like he doesn't uh, know yeah. what it is. It doesn't always happen that way in, uh, during the live show. Yeah, that's but a fun know, fact about these shows going to Orlando for vacation, don't you think? timed and re-edited slightly Bobby? for the download, so yeah. always check out your download. Even Damn. Why doesn't saying Debbie quietly work? Yeah, you did. expect them to walk around the side and like that lady from like, Don't a shoot Debbie. lost highway Mike, pops up. It's not so close enough. Portrait. Stand no, back, Debbie. Right. Stand back. Debbie, have you thought about becoming a cat person? Baby, you 
could have been hurt. <laughs> and the puppy <laughs> But you should never. It's like they run never even heard us. a child cry before. Can't you yeah. run away from us. You know what kids Hello, sound like, right? Yeah, I got puppy. this. Where did you find the new dog, baby? <laughs> In a big place? Where, Debbie? No, Zero continuity from shot place. to shot. It was so dark, but I wasn't afraid of the dark. I had all kinds of funny people in it. Where is the place, Debbie? Over here, Daddy. There's like a big stain right on the front of that couch, and my eyes just go to it every time. I know. You mean all of this awesome shit has been going on, and we didn't know about it? His headshot includes his feet. Garfunkel and Oates? Is this just always <laughs> happening down here? Right? Um, Mike, it's Like, this horrible. is the 7 p.m. show. Let's get out of here. Let's go. It's this 8 p.m. on Thursday. We, we stand in a circle around the master. One of my favorite oh, fun. recurring back in here. Good. In. All right, we got to clear out for the 10 p.m. show. Honey, please, hurry. <laughs> uh, with Torgo, uh, not happening. Oh, it would help if they just told the guests the drinks were half price between five and six. Oh, hi, light. Sarah. Master, you told me to wake you when the Real Housewives of El Paso comes on. The wife's dresses are perplexing re design. My, my, I'm having trouble talking tonight. Uh, there's a big, the like, red need. rectangle yeah. right down the front. Like, what is that? <laughs> Like a, it looks like one of those strips you dip in, like, talk. water to see if it's, you know, yeah. like... A lot of symbolism in this scene. Oh, you pretty ones. Let me see how good you are. I won't need you anymore. I have my own wife. I won't have to come in here to dream of having one of you. I won't have only my hands of fate Someone to pleasure to, me. You were his first wife. Someone just needs to buy Torgo a hustler. No, even I don't want you, <laughs> right? He, he just seems very sexually frustrated. Trump's marriage to Melania. <laughs> He's smooth. <laughs> just get him a flashlight. And now and he'll it's time for fine. Torgo, the bashful predatory creep. <laughs> Ew. Torgo's hat gets more action than he does. Trace is right. Torgo's hands are weirdly clean. And that's clean when for the rest Torgo formed the Proud yeah. Boys. Not seen. Torgo not loves too on much. This, on this show, so I've, I've seen it, I, like I said, but I don't think I've ever seen it without zoning out at one point <laughs> yeah. during the movie. So I've kind of never seen it all the way through. My brain just doesn't want to accept all of it. I'm through with all of you. <laughs> I'm blocking you all on Facebook. Oh, do you hear me? This movie's a great advertisement for amphetamines. <laughs> Just lighten up a room and leave. Douche patrol in color. Love that woods lighting and just a you big know for a satanic woods. hotel that bedspread is pretty nice. I'm just saying. Yeah, people left the theater asking, "Hey, where can I get a quilt like that?" <laughs> We're learning Ooh. a lot about her character in this scene. 311 viewers, 311. <laughs> this movie is all the best band of all time. Everyone take a hit of weed for 311, man. AKA Dollar Store Sublime. <laughs> Torgo was using dollar Windows store before it was invented. <laughs> she giving Torgo the slip? <laughs> I'm like a cat on a hot tin roofie. He's fenestrating. <laughs> the window pane killed itself after this scene. From Torgo's point of view, this is like HBO. <laughs> Chris Cuomo is going to help Torgo fight these allegations. Ooh, Jackie says her great grandmother made that quilt. Oh, how I envy her. That's so cool. Let's go clubbing! <laughs> okay, apparently the film has switched over to radio. Now, this is where you really see how HD pays off. <laughs> I can't see what's happening. 
And that's the first nice thing I've said about this movie so far. <laughs> this is lit like, it's like, it's like, like an Alien vs. Predator crawl movie. Crawl a little, um, help a tour go out. Well, the like plot's the first dragging movie ever is, like, I so really is can't he. What's happening. Like watching a ventriloquist get ready for his act. I guess it's open mic night. <laughs> this was filmed night for night. You know, there are people who pay good money for this kind of treatment. This movie makes Plus, dragging a dead body look exactly as awkward as it probably <laughs> would actually be. Just like, I just gotta slip him over here real fast. Can't even see the closed captioning. And it sounds like someone's trying to take a swing set apart with a cat. I just want to remind I like folks. The, I like the random strobe lights just going around, well, you, too. When you can't oh, no. see the film, that means no spoilers anyway. Uh, remind folks, the Mads are back season two. Folks, go sale. on with the film without me. I'll just sit here for a while and chill. Okay, thank you. Through midnight. 30% I think off. this guy was playing the drums under theory. my hotel room in Chicago. <laughs> I remember that. In fact, Matt, let's raffle off. A download of let's do that second season <clears throat> let's enter, do that let's say <laughs> enter hashtag e answer back if you're watching this live on youtube right now enter hashtag the mads are back i'll pick a winner in that a burning minutes. sensation well makes sense manos is basically cinematic hemorrhoids don't his feet get cold a my pillow would make this more evil oh yeah he's got cute he little sandals on i never noticed that thing. it's like the theme to succession <laughs> he's got like birkenstocks on <laughs> Hey, Pally, how'd these people get in my room? Alright, I'll be back. Go <laughs> walk the hell beast. Alright, who's ready for Dragon Con? God, I can't shut my brain off. Need a melatonin. My driver's license. Yeah, we fell. get it. We'll, we'll leave you alone. Wish I'd brought a book. Oh, there's like a commercial break in the movie. I know. We now return to the Jerry Lewis first base marathon. He's slow, but very thorough. I love coming here to Dry Hump Canyon. <laughs> More Tussin, dear? <laughs> they really never explain what these people are doing, right? I think Not their really. love making is having second act problems. This guy's like the Super me underwears guy of, of Manos. <laughs> oh yeah. Me underwears. Overall, pretty romantic evening. Remember the me underwears there's, there's guy? There's something else we're supposed to do, right? I don't know what that is though, but it feels like there should be something else. Oh well, whatever. The eyes wide shut out takes. <laughs> I think they got the part. All right, fella, I'll take it from here. Again, Give me that. How many times do you have to be told? I'm like, wow. Oh, yeah. Have a heart, will you? Go chase that other couple. Oh, I got yeah, a raging hard on. Go away. <laughs> Who's idiots? The one deeper in the desert. Find them and chew on them a while. We know that this road goes nowhere. So now get. No smart stuff. We ain't trying to jump on you. Just get. Stop being more interesting than the rest of the movie. <laughs> All right, I'll pick a winner. Maybe well, those guys should just stop, stop parking in like the exact same spot. How does love work? <laughs> <laughs> Let's never speak of this again. Travis Richard Sweat, you just won Gina. a download of the Mads are back season two. Shoot me email to find a satanic ritual site that allows pets. I'll send you that code right away. Congrats. Congratulations. Kid Rock, literally. I love the Aaron Sorkin dialogue in this scene. <laughs> this movie has a talent for making like no sense but making it feel like it's your problem that you can't figure it out right it's like, like it, it has its like own logic like, yeah it's like what are you stupid of course there's something like now of primal darkness this movie so confidently Speaking says nothing and i love it in the depth of the universe in the black chasms of night you mean jersey what 
What? So if any of you are looking for a good clarinet music fire? to do like a solo recital for, oh, this, this whole shot this has to be CGI. This. Come on. Here it is. Thou bestoweth the mother darkness upon thy faithful to live eternally in her keeping. Thou dost make this him is like his Darth Vader theme. <laughs> And thou who dost curse with eternal burning light those who transgress against thee. It does look neat with all black. Oh, Thanos yeah. looks pissed. Holy art thou, holy art thou. This movie does do, Thanos like, voids very well. Uh, big black voids. Remain steadfast. Thy priesthood remains like constant. David Lynch's thy early priesthood movies. Remains righteous. Thy priesthood is tax-free. <laughs> if he flaps his arms, does he make a clapping sound? Hear us. <laughs> Hear us. He looks like a flying squirrel suit, like he could jump out of a plane and just kind of like glide Deep to safety. Yes. Arise, my wives. They should do a, a master Mario power up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Mario yeah. becomes the master. Arise, Mickey Rooney. The one game where he has the flying squirrel the suit. Yeah. yeah. The master version of that. Coming, dear. This is me at every social gathering. <laughs> Oh, on top of every, now the view is on. This just gets worse. Hey, honeys, I was thinking maybe going over to Torg's for a minute, play some Nintendo. Uh, I could stay, uh, I'll stay here. That's okay. This is how I picture every E&M couple in Brooklyn being. Why? <laughs> and a female child at that. The child, no. May your first child be a masculine child. It's like the pick a little, talk a little scene from the music manos. Never Heavens should have opened a complaint desk. Work. I have never complained about sacrificing a man, but a child? The woman is all we want. The others must die. <laughs> they all must die. We do not even want the woman. The child is a female. She must not be destroyed. She will grow. That is just too much, much vertical hair space. Anything killed. about destroying? I am the oldest of the wives, and it is my privilege to say that. Enough! Did you get tired holding your hands out all day? A child must die. <laughs> oh, so they're sad. Okay, I if forgot If you persist that. in this foolishness, your usefulness will come to an end. Say what you will, I will have no part of this madness. Yeah, you go, girls. Yeah, rhubarb, rhubarb, old wives, rhubarb. You're caused enough trouble. I think perhaps your service to us is at its end now. Turn in your nightgown. Silence! Silence! <laughs> Marcia says black voids are easy to do if you don't have lighting, but they're not really like you don't see just like a weird chair sitting in the background or it's like it's pitch black. He's the one. Those shots where it's him against the pure black and you just see the red popping out are really cool looking. But this nonsense. We shall dispose of you later. Come on, Hell Beast. Oh, okay. I'll I'll just wait here then. It's a terrible mistake. The man, yes. The child, no. Maybe she's right. Maybe we should spare the child. Spare the child, spoil the plot. That we stay here. Do this is such a neat little set for how him. awful that house he looks. Need any more wives. <laughs> I feel like they weren't even given dialogue. They're yeah. just like mining it all. Oh, all right. Just the newest. Huh. Thelma Ritter. Friday nights at the Copa are for the wives. Saturday is for the girlfriends. Why are you so jealous of me? That dress, Jackie I wish I had on one, one just like it. Jackie said you on one of her broadcasts die. before that one of the wives from Mano no, she's no, been it's in a contact hockey game. with and might be a guest die. on one of the future yeah. classes soon. But yeah, we're hoping care. to do that. Yeah. The child must live. She is right. We will not kill the child. We Mano can scar it for move. life, though. The law of Manos exists for us. So is it Manos or Manos? I've been Manos saying it wrong. Women. She will grow up to be a woman. Francis, the show is... She must die. All right, sale, Janet, like we know you Mysteries. want her dead. Without our annoying commentary. Okay. You can watch it whenever. It's, whenever. I'm trying really hard not to if talk to her. If we let her live, she'll become friends with the not, why are we here? Film. Exactly. So watch along, everyone. You are all mad. Mad, the whole lot of you. Mads. Mad, yes. The child, no. <laughs> Has Rob Zombie ever sampled like a line from this in one of his songs? I'd be shocked. Like it's come to the whole reason the director Good raised Rob money samples. to make this film. Did the music just turn into Powerhouse by Raymond Scott? <laughs> the soft ground in Texas is very conducive to girl fights.
This scene has nothing to do with the plot, and it certainly has nothing to do with the erection I have right now. <laughs> it's the Badly Townswoman's Guild presents the Battle of Pearl Harbor. <laughs> you see, this is why a lot of women form book clubs. Eat the dirt. Eat like it. MTV, but for jazz. This is still better than Wonder Woman 1984. I'll give it that. <laughs> should be kind of erotic, but, you know, the only thing that's horny is the soundtrack. They may seem vicious now, but wait do you hear them gossip about Torgo's junk. <laughs> like the first 20 minutes of Saving Private Ryan. <laughs> you know, every time my mother had the gals over for Bridge Club, something like this would happen. It was all in Torgo's head. Torgo told the director his crotch was his good side. <laughs> Torgo lives like hey, Patrick I booked us into this hotel in Atlanta once. True story. I remember that. It happened. Torgo, you are the laziest man in El Paso. Scene 41, <laughs> Master pokes Torgo with his rod. Read differently in the dick. script. Frank's... Frank's mind is just, he's just so hilarious. Oh, the break over, are we filming again? Is it still considered <laughs> shitting the bed if your bed is made of shit? Hey, that's the room I'm in right now. Oh, I need to pee. We're going oh, to weird little pile. Already. Hang on, hang on. I, I got this. I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm, I'm Targo, damn it. It took Kubrick 45 takes to get this shot, but it's all up there on the screen. You know, we think Torgo's hit bottom. This might actually couch. be a good day for him. <laughs> I love that we're seeing Torgo's process. Present and accounted for, sir. Master, what are you doing here? You have failed us, Torgo. So is Torgo his title? I of your visits to the tomb. Don't pizza. My visits? The women have told me. They may not be able to say well, there's a lady who might have downstairs. I really gotta start vetting these bitches. But they remember <laughs> everything you say to them. It's like a room full of Alexas. And everything oh, no, I'm you getting do a, to them. I'm but I thought YouTube, I erased uh, my browser copyrighted history. Copyrighted audio and video have been detected. But master, you have oh, six no. wives. Why can't I have one for myself? You are not one of us. Therefore, you cannot well, luckily, it's not my fault them. for a change. I know. Usually, I'm the one, one that now. sets those off. This one is well, if we get, if we get cut, <laughs> we'll That's post a Turtle new link a and there. a shout. A rope and a knife. Or not, who knows? Fail <laughs> you? No. You have failed yourselves. You Thanks all 318 people who are I'll sticking around with us so far. Yeah, Torgo Master, I did not edit this one. This and you must die! Can I talk to HR first? This the Donald Trump Mike Pence episode. relationship. A dramatization. You know, the Manos cult kind of makes other cults slightly less creepy. A lot of close talkers in this movie. <laughs> I need to be right here. He's like one of the Sparks brothers. That one guy with the mustache. That's the kind of joke we would have done back in the day, and now people <laughs> might actually get that reference. <laughs> Wasn't that staff like the MacGuffin in four Avengers movies? <laughs> they certainly have their own vibe, I'll say that. It does look like uh, Aquaman's staff. Kind of. Yeah. Is he killing him softly with his song? Is that what's happening? Nobody knows what to do. I've gotten oh, copyright been claims possessed by Red Skelton. <laughs> of, because it's saying it's an MST3K. I episode, just remembered the, the family the circus movie. joke so that Mystery Science Theater did in this moment. God of primal darkness, as thou hast decreed, so have I done. Like we had permission, we swear you too. We asked. Man. Thy will is done, Master. Out. No, Torgo died on the way back to his home planet. <laughs> I hope I'm not out of line, but this movie kind of sucks. I know Torgo's Aquaman. Not and you know what's People weird? The ad Torgo. line for this movie was, was at least Avengers. it's not cats. I was just stating that it's that. 1966 was strange. Oh, anyway. never mind. I know comic 
The uh, mic's a bit tied up. Can you come back? It's like a rom-com written by meth heads in a Motel 6. <laughs> <laughs> Should be on the Blu-ray box. Oh, he's like a salt lick. Okay. <laughs> Valley Lodge isn't all bad. You know what? He was asking for it. I mean, look at the way he's dressed. The Lodge is trying to overcompensate for the fact that they ran out of mints to put on pillows. I know Aquaman's not an Avenger. I know. He still knows Don't good worry. kung fu. You're lying. Don't take I'm my nerd that. Away. <laughs> I'm just saying that. Whatever Cialis does, this movie does the opposite. You used to be more fun when I met you five seconds ago. <laughs> Oh, damn, we dirt. missed some important plot points that were going on. I didn't know we got ASPN. Hair care is very harsh in Texas. We're not fighting. And the men are beautiful. Do the Torgo. <laughs> if this is what jazz does to people, I want no part of it. Oh, come on. This music is from the Coltrane album, A Cat Fight Supreme. I'm going to put this song I want to have sex next time. <laughs> well, The View hired all new women, but it didn't help, apparently. You know, dry mud wrestling never really caught on. I envy their slumber. I'm, I'm just saying, those are cute bedspreads <laughs> for a den of Satan. I mean, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Where are you? <laughs> it's mighty where everybody's at. They really do have to fight Still for dead. their right to party in this town. At least it's a different part of the fight each time. Here's Master. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, Fluffy saw a squirrel in the park. Uh, they're just doing mop-up now. Does this happen every night? Stop! What foolishness is this? Mano's Someone gets to Bilko's. There you are! She is the one! She has upset all of our plans! This foolishness must stop! Okay, so no foolishness, but sacrifice is okay. Now, who wants s'mores? He needs a big hand warmer. <laughs> I've got to sit down. My feet of fate are killing me. We still have about 20 minutes left. Let's do another giveaway. The party's uh, quieted down a bit. Season 2 of the lads are back. Of which oh, one is a part of. Our purpose must be served. There will be no And also includes the after show Q&A with Jackie. Right. Oh, no more yes. trouble. Serve purpose. Ixnay on the insolence. Child. Um, so we're watching this live right now. For. You have caused enough Enter trouble. hashtag do the Torgo. As as we of Torgo we shall take care of you. So, busy day. Your power fails you. Nice I hashtag. have no more fear. She's the Norma Ray of this group. And prepare her for sacrifice. And Magic Back Season 2 is 30% off Come through for midnight. for the prime rib buffet. Stay for the sacrifice. With promo code. Oh, she's being altered. Push the button. See, I'm trying this not to talk over This is available on Etsy. Sorry. Well, she's not being treated different than any other woman in Texas. For uh, for being so dirty, they had very good access to hairspray. Well here. done, my <laughs> wives. The wheel of Manos shall be turned. The wheel oh, of shit, Manos shall be turned. Ugh, Manos getting perp walked by the wives is so humiliating. Oh, the lumbar support is just what my back needs. Thank you. It's my pillow pants. <laughs> Great how this actor was able to be in a scene and also take a break in the same scene. Vincent Van Torgo. To top it all off, Torgo also has sleep apnea. 
these little the flies around like pig pen. Guys, we're doing a giveaway yes, for the Mads of Back Season 2. Enter hashtag do the Torgo in the, the chat. The people at the White Orchid thought that hotel stay was bad. Ready a room at the Hotel Torgo for you. <laughs> Kill. 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 My he needs you to kill, which is also kill. almost like the I Need You to Kill title of J. Alpha Weinstein's documentary about stand-up comedy. Follow the link below or smash that like button. <laughs> well worth seeing. <laughs> oh, they're canceling Torgo. Barry Weiss is going to write a column about this. Has there been a porn parody of Manos the Hands of Fate? I feel like that'd be easy to do. Good question. Debbie has the best deal in the whole thing. Matt, what are you doing this weekend? <laughs> uh, I plan on playing White Number as much 3 with the, the screen porn parody of Otto's Lands of Fate. I'd like to free myself from this movie, too. Duh! We now return to the inside of Frank Conniff's head. <laughs> Frank has the I'll best. I'll harm that, uh, you. That a Frank jokes that Frank always has. The master yeah. is willing to delegate tasks. He learned that in management school. They're torturing him by using the tickle machine. <laughs> Seeing Torgo's wardrobe messed with is so upsetting. That one lady, they're like, "You're really good at reacting." So it was to all things. a dream. Cut to you a, a lot, horrible, one. depraved, evil dream. <laughs> The door is really well painted. There's Margaret, the open the door. Yeah. Open the door, Margaret. Oh. Mary Ellen Gilson, Margaret's you just won. Margaret's not here, man. Congratulations, Mary Ellen. Margaret's not here. You just won a download of season two of the Mads are back. <laughs> <laughs> is that the same Mary Ellen that showed a video on Mary It is. It is the same Mary Ellen. Uh, speaking of, if we'll you uh, don't follow that <laughs> channel, that's kind of a sister show to this program. We also both work on that and put together programs. Am I supposed to tip, Master? I, we didn't get that clear earlier. Next. Oh, that was rude. Oh, I thought killing Torgo would fill the gaping hole in my soul, but I still feel empty. Uh, Mary Allen, shoot me an email. Chris at Dumbdash. Congratulations, Dumbdash. Torgo. You've passed your initiations. You are now a member of the Skull and Bones. I'll give you that code. Are the fingers going down like a monkey's paw kind of situation? Oh, I think they are. Oh, crap. The afterlife is just like regular life. It sucks. It takes me this long to get up off the floor now, too. Mein Führer, I can walk again. <laughs> Come with me and you'll see the hand being played. <laughs> no, no, he's going to be doomed. man, oh, literally. It's the special sauce that makes the dish. <laughs> what, no coleslaw? <laughs> Not much of a chef, but... <laughs> they cook the hands of fate right at your table at this restaurant. <laughs> I wonder how they did that. That's a cool kind of looking He's the kind of guy who thinks right? Steve Crowder is funny. <laughs> I sat too close to the kitchen. Killing doesn't help anymore. You're all finished. Oh, nobody likes a heckler. Careful, you'll burn your fingers. You've said enough. Your turn will come as soon as we have disposed of the others. Could you be Go more specific? Others. Which others? Hurry, before the night slips away. And I have to return this robe to the rental place. Well, a burning hand is worth throwing the torch. If I was given a hot hand like that, I always hope I'd be playing poker. Hey. I saw him at that window. Okay, honey, we'll leave, we'll leave. We've got to leave now. I can't stand it any longer. Please, Mike. What could possibly be in well, those books? In the Someone will help. <laughs> what okay, kind of Mike's books would Torgo keep? Anymore. That's what I liked Grace earlier. It was like, is Torgo studying for the bar? <laughs> you cannot endure. Destroy. Oh, God, like Torgo in court. So like a lawyer me. show like Matlock, but with Torgo is the... <laughs> Oh, now the master's unsympathetic. 
Now he's Never slapping us. For me. <laughs> he's slapping I us. am permanent. I mean inevitable. The damn, damn. <laughs> your power fails. Where did the you? blood come from? You are losing your control. Okay. Even Torgo defies you. This movie you. makes you feel like you're going yeah, crazy. Torgo's a real weird Guthrie. And when you've lost Torgo, you've lost Middle America. Even as you shall be, your power does not affect me anymore. Even your other wives do not trust you. <laughs> That's yeah, pretty funny. I do not fear you, <laughs> even though you beat me. He's like the sister beat wives me. guy. Beat, yeah. Beat. Oh, even Mel Gibson is thinking this is too much. <laughs> At this point, the actors beg the director to make this a snuff film. <laughs> I do not fear you. Oh, such a hurtful thing to say to a man. <laughs> Quit slapping us. Oh. I think Jackie's dad was working through some stuff oh. through this movie. Is Buddy Rich <laughs> here already? Brisket's off the menu. Like, has a therapist oh, ever watched this movie? they can't even get movie? running away right. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> like, the nice guys are jerks. And, like, analyzed it. Yeah, you probably had to get a lot of it. Take Debbie and run! How Warren goes run, here. Which is a movie I'd rather be watching. What was he thinking? Yeah. Yeah. Up that way. Let, let, let's go this way. Let's go back the way we came. Once we get over there, we'll come back over here. Oh, again. man tripping. That's gender equality. That's progressive for its time. I was just kidding. Right. <laughs> I meant to do that. <laughs> Mike, Mike, are you all right? Bam. Drop my chapstick. <laughs> Whatever, Are you breaking up with me? Whatever Frank's <laughs> riff is, going. it's the right riff. Right? It's, he's just Who are you perfect. again? Why uh, the best? I'm no good at rapping stuff. Here, you finish that. They have gone. <laughs> they have the hell. We have searched everywhere. You gotta be shitting me. <laughs> Both sets. <laughs> I will say this about this movie. You fully believe these people are these Damn characters. Damn it, you made me break the fourth like, yeah. wall. I find it hard to believe there are real people behind these, <laughs> behind these weird characters. Like space aliens. Oh, she tripped again. I mean, I was better at running after my heart surgery. <laughs> He's very grounded. I can't make it, Mike. I can't make it. I like his bowling shirt too. Save me, baby. Good combo, the cardigan Debbie. bowling shirt. Debbie is handling this better than anyone. Jackie is so cute. Oh my God, Snoopy I have to walk the dog. Just like, she's really taking it like a. If this is my nephew, man, he would not just be standing. Oh, Dylan would not cooperate or something like this. Mine. And Jackie's acting just as good as anybody else in this, though. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. We see the hands design on your robe. It's cool. Okay, we get it. Jeez. They're a little tense because they all skip their usual post beating up Torgo cigarette. No, Maggie, we can make it. We'll Let's just sit down here. We can make it. Let's go back. They'll never think of looking for us at the house. You know, you might have a point there. Please, Mike. Please, I can't go any farther. Listen, we can lock ourselves in the kitchen. I have my gun. The gun will know what to do. <laughs> Watch out oh, for... Oh, never mind. Oh, canceled already. <laughs> <laughs> he gave the snake a warning shot? We'll have to go back. And ask for okay. a late checkout. It might be the safest place, especially since they're out here looking for us. <laughs> Debbie, not now. <laughs> but that was a great take. <laughs> oh, now they can run when they're going back there. They have to make the siren noise with their mouths. 
Hey, could you shine a light on the plot, please? <laughs> One Torgo 12, one Torgo 12, see the Satan worshiper. That sure sounded like shots. We'd better check. This hour of the night, there can't be anybody out here. This is the boondocks. Well, sound does travel a long way at night. It could be clear over in Mexico, for that matter. And nobody cares about Mexico. You know, Bob, my real passion's dancing. I never told anyone that before. Would you put that away? He was just so happy to hang out with her dad. She mentions yeah, that in that. Um, yeah, my electric dog penis will sort this out. <laughs> in her book. Just how much her dad Fighting being crime in wherever this, it might like not be her, her uh, Existential Void Patrolman, Tuesdays this fall. Yeah. It seemed like it was a really good bonding activity doing oh, yeah. that movie and then the, the sequel later. Yeah. Oh, good. Back to this set. I missed it. Circuit kind of stuff. Who left the bongo running? Is the door doing a one-man show? <laughs> One, two, three! It's me! Ta-da! This ending is so weird. This place One looks like Tom, if, like, Mr. Rogers' neighborhood's saved El Paso. house it was, like, ransacked. Finally, my close-up. They couldn't bring me back in to do my lines. Did someone put the camera in focus? <laughs> <laughs> You have violated our terms of service. That should be an album cover, right? <laughs> yeah, that looks like a 90s album cover. That could be like a Blur album. Is this the same yeah. room? Or like an early 2000s indie the Multiverse rock. of Madness is confusing. Yeah. I haven't even seen it. You know, the premiere of this film was the first known use of the phrase, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, they put real one back on. Yeah, no one puts the top down in Texas. That would be admitting defeat. <laughs> hey, Lucy and Ethel are Thelma and Louising. Damn brain. <laughs> Vacations are fun, but this one should be great. Yeah, the gang's coming up for the weekend. What a blast. Yeah, Porto Master mentions the restored print room. It's one of my favorite riffs from the MST episode. The director's the remaking his film within his film. Yeah. It was never done before or since. And that's what's kind of neat about this, uh, no too, is it's like, a, now that it's a clean print, you have to kind of rely on other sort of things to riff on. So that's uh, a, another challenge So that's how itself. convertibles you have work. To really this is educational as well as not entertaining. Well, El Paso does have a great jazz station. This is not it, Ask however. <laughs> but they have a good one. Put a camera in a car, show the car driving, and that's how you get a feature-length film, film students. It's nice just to drive and not have to talk. Ford this versus Ferrari didn't have this background. much driving like in office. it. Like, or like a, like a dentist. This film like was entered in the South by like, Southwest like Snuff room. Film Festival and won. I want to the dentist to put the soundtrack to my stands and fate. No, I mean, just like the movie. You know how they play, like, you know, like Judge Joe Brown oh, or whatever? Like, oh, yeah. Movie. yeah. Just the movie that makes no sense and you don't want to watch anymore. There are you have beautiful to, but... parts of Texas, right? I think so. But something's kind of happening, I guess. Lower, jeez, what's the rush? Slow down. Oh, Mr. and Mrs. Tantric are still at it. They probably have children by now. This is the first documented medical case of a four hour erection. <laughs> oh, please don't remind us of what we just seen. Welcome. Well, you got a cool job. Requiem for a Dream was a happier movie. <laughs> they had a child size oh, no. satanic gown. I am Michael. I take care of the place while the master is away. <laughs> and just that like, like that, Anderson Michael shot. became Torgo. Well, that Yay, wrapped Manos. up rather I neatly. I wish he was wearing the full Torgo get up. I know. And good. the end credits are all cutscenes. Very innovative. Take that, <laughs> MCU. <laughs> These credits were never seen in a theater. The audience had all left. I gotta say, as, as a manager, the master was very Manos on. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, boy and his dog story. People love them. 
Well done, sir. Well done. Someone should take these credits and put the full house music behind them. And see what it looks like. God bless you, John Reynolds. You crushed it as Torgo, and we love you. You will be missed. This is a nice song. I wonder what movie it was written for, because it sure as hell wasn't this film. Also a very good job. Yep. Auteur, auteur. <laughs> not great, but not horrible. Good job. <laughs> Yay, Jackie. Oh, Jackie should have gotten better billing than that. She's and the, the fine print, in the too, shall remain blameless. Take the Robin red pill or the Robin blue pill. Take a victory lap, everybody. Is this like a Marvel post-credit sequence that sets up phase four of Manos, the Hands of Fate? Why wasn't it really the movie about the these drugs? people? <laughs> Were these credits in the MST version? I don't remember. And here's a lot of people not getting paid. <laughs> but they all got fertilizer <laughs> discounts for helping out. Give it up again for Tom Naiman. He had like 80 jobs on this movie. I know. Yeah, he did so much of the work on this movie. Well, that's like it's something that a lot of the Blooper best B movies have in common, the same where there's the just film. like one person's weird vision just driving yeah. the entire thing. And it's why people remember Ed Wood. It's why they remember I think the credits are well though. done. That's my review. <laughs> Wait, this movie had photography in it? Who knew? Please be over now. I have no more nice things to say. Robert <laughs> Smith Jr. worked on this. Hey, he put his name on it. He took full responsibility. God bless him. Eat did. shit, Sterling Silliphant. And I can sell that to you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Jackie so. said okay. before that Manos Returns and the Manos Chronicles the same thing exist myself, in different universes, the end so or not. we no, could potentially do a Spider-Man No Way Home. Thanks, Frank Conniff, for discovering it. I know. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, the okay. city of El Paso denies any participation in this film. It's a different timeline. There's also a Manos novel, I believe, out there. There is. You know? You're what now? Manos in the Multiverse. Matt, let's start right I know that guy. I know those people too. I know that guy. guy. He's a dick. Hey, good job, Ben. Well, I hope we're not delayed too much. <laughs> you just called Ben a dick. No, I was calling. I was. Oh, calling, I know. I know. Calling myself oh, I know. clearly. Oh, I know. I know. Literally. Um. Wow, that was a lot of fun. It's not that was every so day. much fun. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. Yeah, not every day we get to watch this kind of stuff with you guys. So thanks for hanging out. Thank you for. Uh, fulfilling our dream of uh, not really doing anything tonight, but still doing something. And uh, I had a lot of fun. Did you have fun? You know, we, we were real bummed when our programming uh, for tonight fell through and we were just like, what, are we just going to be alone with our thoughts all night? Like, that sounds no. terrible. No, no, uh, no. So thank you for coming to this very uh, hastily assembled uh, uh, alternative broadcast that we did. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's always good to have an excuse to go back and revisit something like Manos and especially with someone in the audience telling totally. stories about it. And it's a, uh, it's a fun time. It's a good and hang. Don't, don't forget the, the whole second season, you get the whole second season of the Mads are back 30% off uh, through midnight. So you only got like two and a half hours left. Uh, head to dumb dash industries.com and enter promo code push the book. And this is probably the cheapest you'll see this for quite some time. Yeah, we've so. got, well, we're almost finished with uh, season three of the Mads are back. Yeah, so we're um, going to start pushing that collection. We're going to start pushing too. that, but I think um, we're going to we're going to actually do a pre-order for season three of the Mads are back because that'll be ready at the end of July. Um, so stay tuned for details on that. Um, very nice, very nice. And, and tomorrow's said, oh. oh, tomorrow's uh, Jackie Damon Jones, the Hands of Paint, of course. Yes. In fact, let's uh, let's do one more. Let's do one more uh, giveaway for. Tomorrow's oh my god, class. we've gone raffles crazy. It's uh, you know, this is a night of raffles. Um, folks watching this live right now, and like, I can't wait to paint this guy. I'm gonna do all sorts of 
weird things with he looks like he's seen something just like unspeakable like (laughs) yeah like he walked in on his parents having sex or something he's like oh no (laughs) um folks watching live right now let me share my screen here put the hashtag up uh enter hashtag hands of paint you'll be in the running to get uh, to sit in on tomorrow afternoon's class of uh, taught by Jackie Naaman Jones, Debbie from the movie we just watched. How amazing is that? So neat. And amazing. she's a fantastic artist on her own. This isn't just one of those paint classes, by the way, that we do where we're just like, oh, she's someone from a thing you remember. But like she is a very talented artist in her own right. She's been teaching paint classes for years. Uh, yeah. Her Etsy store is awesome if you haven't been on there lately. It's legit. It, and these classes are just like so it's it's just like a, a lovely community of we all just like love the same things and we all yeah you know we're just it's our people you find your yeah. people and it's that's what this is totally um, it's a very it's a very bob rossi kind of it's like our very, version of joy of painting kind of it's so relaxing it's so meditative and relaxing and everyone raves about that every time how it's like i feel like we finish every class and everyone's like god this is just what i needed today and it's you know it's early in the day you got your whole night ahead of you on saturday um totally so yeah head to dumb uh slash jackie if you want to sign up for tomorrow's class but let's let's do it let's just pick a winner right now here we go all right we're going for it um congratulations Cowbot. Cowbot. I know that name. Cowbot's a regular. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. Cowbot. Um, shoot me an email, Chris at dumb-industries.com. I'll tell you exactly how to sit in on tomorrow's class. It's be Incredibly. So much fun. Incredibly. Uh, Incredibly. Don't forget Dumb Industries Mystery Hour every Thursday on Twitch. Yes. Uh, Matt and I host that together. We um, do. And it's uh, and if you enjoy uh, us uh, talking over things, uh, which most of you seem to, most of um, you. a couple uh, people, we, we do that. Weren't having it. A couple people weren't having it. And I was trying really hard to, to rein in a little bit toward <laughs> the end. But if you want to just see us just be uh, as unhinged as we can possibly be, that happens uh, over on Thanks. our Twitch uh, page uh, every Thursday oh. at eight. And I put it's... together a fun little pre-show of that of kind of usually like 90s, late 80s through like the early 2000s kind of commercials. All of our different shows, I have kind of different pre-show themes. Like if you watch the Mary Jo Peel show, all the, the pre-shows for those tend to be kind of like late 60s through to like the early mid 80s or like the brown 80s. I like to call it when everything the was still brown, brown all the time. Yeah. And then you get to like the mid to late 80s and, and that kind of I put um, all that sort of stuff on our shows. So uh totally. So yeah, they all have a different vibe. And I do a pre-show for Hands of Paint, too. That's usually kind of yes. art-related. Or here lately, I've been doing kind of best-of compilations of our other things. Like last show, I did the best-of creepy baby doll commercials because <laughs> I have quite a nest egg of creepy baby doll commercials. So Oh, yes. Um, and I just want to mention this real quick. If you'd like to help oh, yeah. support Dumb Industries and everything we do, head to dumb-industries.com slash donate. Totally. If you felt your blessed support. by tonight's show. Yes, if you enjoyed it. Uh, if you didn't mind us talking every now and then. Um, and I if you kind of... didn't, uh, you can Venmo request us for money. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny if someone actually did that. It was just like Venmo request. It just says, like, I hated the show. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Give me it 10 could happen. It could happen. You never know. Uh, like, oh, no, we lost money on this somehow. Uh, oh, Christopher Barnes. Oops wrong uh nick scott said any sign of putting up the last two episodes on demand of the dumb industries mystery hour yes sorry i between uh my my 10 terabyte hard drive of everything i own yeah crashing yesterday and then r.i.p us having to cancel jonah's thing i've been a little yeah it's been a little bit of a a crazy time but but yes this weekend um i would love to put those up no there is not a new joe bob tonight which i was actually happy about because i was like oh we don't have to compete and we don't have to miss uh we don't have to miss anything everybody gets to see what they want to see very see cool. randy mason didn't mind the talking oh well thank you randy Desbot people talk during watch alongs <laughs> the devil you say uh and if you like watch alongs uh i talked a little bit about the mary joe peel show we had a lot of new people watching tonight so i gotta i gotta talk yeah. about all the things briefly but uh 
that show is a uh, kind of like a buy. There's two shows a month. There's the Mary Jo Peel show proper. And then the week before that, you guys do movie Joe night where you and Mary Jo kind of will do a watch party like this, where it's not really, it's not really a riffy kind of thing. You don't watch, you don't know what the movies are about. You're going in cold. So you're get, getting to watch both of them react to it yeah. for the first time. But it's typically, we watch the fantastic, just Four. the fantastic four, which my goodness, what a movie. Yeah, um, but that was that's kind of out of the norm. Usually, we kind of do sort of like we do more uh, like seventies TV, TV movies from the seventies and stuff. And the one for this month is what's that one called again? It's it's like a uh, oh, it's going to be um, dying room only. <laughs> yes, hold on, let me put the picture up. For it. Uh, it stars Cloris Leachman. Here we go. Yeah, dying room only. It's an ABC Tuesday movie. Ooh. Of the week. <laughs> <laughs> not even a wednesday movie of the week they relegated this one to tuesday ned Bates wow in it. oh man this is gonna be who crazy. does shows on a tuesday <laughs> psychopaths um, um but yeah so we'll be doing that that's usually the third tuesday of every month right uh yes i think i i think i have that math right second tuesday of every month is the mad show and then the third and yes. fourth tuesdays are movie joe knight and then mary joe peel shows so you got it you got it um so it's a and we and we do this all the time we got programming every day or, or multiple days of the week usually so uh yeah so uh go on our website we usually have a little calendar graphics up if you're ever bored and want to just hang out with us we're probably up to something so probably um and also head to discord.dumb-industries.com join our discord server that emmy runs it's uh it's the best discord. it's really cool uh, dumb dash industries and there's Com. places on that Discord server. That's where our Wednesday watch alongs happen. But there's also places where you can suggest trailers for me to put in our future pre shows, yeah. uh, where you can share your own creative things that might be going on. Yeah. Uh, you uh, you know, a place for for venting and just like there's there's literally it's just it's a uh, if you've ever were, were just like, I want the Internet to just be completely just uh, my friends or just completely this one thing that I like to to talk about. It's it's that's yeah. what it is. So totally um okay. all right let's end this usually on twitch we go out we raid another channel usually master pancake or mst we can't do that on youtube um so i think it's appropriate we just go we just end the show like we end uh the dumb industries mystery hour which is uh we go out on a short clip that we've never shown before um yes this is this, this is, is just like a mystery to our... yeah it's a mystery to both of us um, this is brand new, even to people who who have been watching the Mystery Hour for a long time. They they definitely won't recognize this clip. Well, we won't even re- like we had Emmy. We won't even it recognize us, it. So it's it's totally. It's I don't it's even know what this fresh. is going to be. So um, no idea. Thanks for watching, uh, everyone. Thanks for watching, everybody. We really we'll appreciate hanging out with uh, y'all tomorrow. Jackie Naaman Jones, three p.m. Three p.m. Be there. Be there. Be there. Be there. Sorry, guys. All three of my cats are sleeping on the bed, and um. Torgo, Torgo's leaving behind me, so I don't know. I don't want to wake anyone up. Um, all right. Good night. Y'all Good night, come everyone. back now, you hear? Bye. Bobby, I want you to meet my colleague, Dr. Hamilton. And I'd like you to get the fuck out of here. It's all get out of here.